Come with me, Mo. Come to the stairway to paradise. <laughs> uh, this is. Who's that? Zach is just back from terrible, fatal plane crash, but here he is now. Hi. Hi. Spend time with Susan Lucci on the set of All My Children, and you'll see someone very much at home. This is Erica's penthouse apartment. Yes, this is supposedly in Pine Valley, although we have an amalgamated view of downtown New York City. And Susan knows Pine Valley. Pine Valley isn't exactly the corner of Hollywood and Vine. No. The fictional locale of the ABC soap opera, which goes off the air this Friday. Her character has been living there a very long time. We're in year, you know, 41. I have to tell you, like, year 23, I was also pinching myself saying, this has been a really long run. <laughs> you! I hate you! I That's right. For more than four decades, Susan Lucci has played the same role. You don't know who I am? The indomitable. Oh. Insatiable. What are you doing in my bathroom? I was looking for you. Here I am. <gasps> the incomparable Erica Kane. Oh, at last I have found the career for which I was born. Well, it's been my whole adult life, basically, but I haven't stayed out of any hardship for myself. It hasn't been a sacrifice for me to continue playing Erica Kane. I've loved this part. <laughs> She's capable of saying or doing just about anything. I just want them to know everything there is to know about me. How I grew up, how I grew up lonely and, and misunderstood, really, and, I mean, a rose among the weeds and everything. Born to parents of Swedish and Italian descent, Lucci was raised in Garden City, Long Island. Brownies and Girl Scouts and friends and ice skating on the pond and uh, proms and school plays, it was all here. And right from the start... When I was about three, I used to sing something from Damn Yankees called um, Whatever Lola Wants, Lola Gets. Mm, an omen. That's how we knew I'd grow up to play Erica Kane. <laughs> <laughs> you graduated from college in 1968 and then you started pounding the pavement. Yes. And one casting director warned you and said you might be too... I was told I was probably too ethnic looking and I probably wouldn't work on TV because they were mostly looking for blondes or redheads, um, blue eyes at least. Yet the 24-year-old actress landed a part in a new soap opera, All My Children and made her debut as Erica Kane on January 5th, 1970. Erica, why don't you get off your high horse and come down here with the rest of us? I don't want to be down anywhere with, with the rest of you. I want to be special, and I'm going to be. She was not the typical heroine, of course not. She was the bad girl in town. She was the naughty girl in town, a 15-year-old high school girl who was uh, very headstrong, was collecting boys, mostly other girls' boyfriends, as trophies. And then she grew up, and she became bad girl in a bigger arena. Don't you ever get tired of getting my leftovers? During the show's run, Erica has been a model. An actress. My movie? Light! How's that? And a mogul. And that's why I founded Enchantment. Please, God, please. And there through it all, she has God. suffered. If you think I have too much, please, just take it all back. Take it all back. Erica Kane has been through so much. She has been kidnapped. She has survived an airplane crash. She has fought a grizzly bear and won. You may not do this. Do you understand me? You may not come near me. She staged that prison breakout while dressed in a wedding gown and high heels. Nice. No, I am not going to a clinic. She's been to Betty Ford. She has survived an avalanche wearing knee-high red leather stiletto boots and red gloves. That's how we knew it was Erica surviving. We saw the red gloves <laughs> and high heels dragging through the snow. She's been to jail? Several times, yes. Solitary confinement, can you imagine? 
and she has survived. And I warn you, I've got claws. Oh. Yes, survived, but not alone. Touch my <laughs> Always a bride, never a bridesmaid. Probably no TV actress has appeared in more wedding dresses than Susan Lucci. As Erica, you've been married how many times? Um, ten. Ten? Could be eleven. It's definitely double digits. Your full name is? I think it's Erica Kane, Martin Brent, Cudahy Chandler, Roy Roy, Montgomery, Montgomery, Merrick, this is where it gets dicey, Merrick, Merrick, Montgomery. I think that's right. To be clear, Erica is not Susan. Erica collects men. She chews them up. She spits them out. Mm -hmm. You've been married how many times? Once. I love when you cook. Mm -hmm. Susan met her husband of 42 years, Helmut Huber, when she was waiting tables in a hometown restaurant. He was the chef. After their two children, Liza and Andreas, came along, Helmut persuaded Susan to stay in Garden City, where they live to this day. I was so smitten with, uh, with her beauty, first of all, and then later on seeing how, how what a nice person she was. She was not only uh, beautiful on the outside, she was rather beautiful on the inside, you know. This is so sweet. This is so nice. I feel like I shouldn't be here when you're telling this. It's no, really but, nice. Uh, that, it, it's just the truth. Susan's life may not have quite the melodrama of Erica's. Well, except when it comes to the saga of the Emmy. First nominated in 1978, Lucci attended ceremony after ceremony after ceremony. After the ninth time of not winning, I, uh, I would go numb. Before you actually won the Emmy, there was, there was a lot of joking, a lot of lampooning about it. Were you cool with that? I was cool with that. Susan, are you all right? Are you okay? Maybe we should get you a soda, Susan. Come on, follow me. I guess she's a little thrown because she never won an Emmy. Oh, Susan, you're going to win one. Besides, just a statue. Kind of a symbol of excellence. Yeah. I mean, I heard some incredible people stand up at award ceremonies and say, well, I guess I'm the Susan Lucci of the Oscars. I guess I'm the Susan Lucci of directors. And, you know, so yes, I mean, I was fine with it. I was absolutely fine with it. The streak is over, Susan Lucci! On her 19th try, the woman fans know as La Lucci had her moment. I'm going back to that studio on Monday and I'm going to play Erica Kane for all she's worth. <laughs> Thank you very much. And she did just that. But after surviving so much for so long, Erica Kane found an obstacle she couldn't overcome. Declining ratings. In April, ABC canceled All My Children. It will be replaced by a lifestyle show. There's nothing that feels like it's going to end. Maybe the last week it's going to feel a little different, but so far I can't kind of wrap my mind. But there's a cliffhanger. In July, a production company bought the rights to the show from ABC and announced plans to produce new episodes for the internet. If the show ends up online, will you go with it? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening with an open mind and heart. Yet with the show going off the air on Friday and no announcement from Susan Lucci, it appears that Erica Kane's days may be numbered. Do you think that fans are going to need grief counseling? Uh, <laughs> judging from what many fans are saying, maybe so. Maybe we're all going to need a little grief counseling.